In this tutorial you will learn GDAL. GDAL is a translator library for raster and vector geospatial data formats. After this tutorial you will be able to retrieve information from GIS data, reproject GIS data, change raster properties, convert raster formats, convert vector formats, apply spatial queries on vectors, and convert comma-separated value files. In the end, you'll also learn how to perform patch conversion. If you have QGIS installed, you can run GDAL commands from the OSGO4W shell. Let's first go to the folder where we have stored the tutorial data. It contains a shapefile with municipalities, a folder with land use data from a model, a CSV file with points of interest, a road network shapefile, and a digital elevation model from SRTM as a geotiff. Let's first explore the SRTM geotiff. So we use GDAL info and then we give the name of the TIFF file. And here we can see the information. It says that it's a geotiff. The size is 6001 by 6001, so it means rows and columns. The coordinate system is a geographic coordinate system. We can see it here, EPSG 4326. Always look at the last EPSG code that is mentioned. And the units here are in degree. So the coordinates are in latitude, longitude. The pixel size, which is also in degrees. And the uh, boundary coordinates also in degrees and a no data value. Now let's in the same way explore the vector data. So we go to OGR info. Let's also see how to use OGR info. You can go here to uh, vector programs, OGR info. And I see that we can use the argument AL to list all features of all layers. So it gives us all the information that is there. If you want a summary, you can also use minus SO. Let's try those. If I do AL and then we apply it to the roads shapefile, the road network vector file, I get here all the data. That's of course too much to read. So I stop it with Ctrl C and I use the more command to look at it carefully page to page. And there I see how many features it has, had a lot of features. Mid space, I go to the next page. I also see that this one is EPSG 4226, so geographic coordinate system, latitude, longitude, and contains a lot of attributes. If I would have used the summary mode, so here you see that that is SO. It will only show very little information that is not very useful. Let's check the layer with the municipalities and also use their AL. Also a lot of data in it, so also use more. And there I see 418 features. The extent looks not like latitude longitude, and I can see here from the projection that it's the Dutch projection Amersfoort Rijksdelstel New, which is EPSG 28992 with units in meters. And then there's all kinds of census data per municipality in this file. I get out of here with Ctrl C. So the idea is to reproject the data sets to the Dutch projection. So we can do further analysis uh, with that. And if we want to convert the DEM, the raster file, we use GDAL warp. So here, raster programs, GDAL warp. It's for image reprojection and warping. And that's what we're going to do. Use GDAL warp. And I use the target projection with TSRS. And then EPSG, the target projection is the Dutch one, that's EPSG 28992. 
Amos for track Duke stelsel, and then give the input file and the output file name. Let's call it dmrd track stelsel dot tiff, and run it. And here we see that it converts the file to the projection. And we can check the result in uh, QGIS. So let's see. Here is the file, and I drag it to the map canvas. It uh, asks me if which uh, uh, conversion I want to use. I use the default one. And there it is in the correct uh, projection. I can uh, check it with um, the quick map services plugin. And I can use uh, OpenStreetMap. And we see that it matches with uh, the background. So that looks okay. So let's do the same for the vector data. So that is done with OGR to OGR, convert simple features data between file formats. And here you see all the arguments. So OGR to OGR. And the target SRS is the same, EPSG 28992. But here you need to give the output first and then the input. So it will be here roads reprojected dot shp for a shapefile. So it will recognize that and the input roads shp. And when I do enter, it will do the reprojection. It's a big file, so it takes a while. You see that it gives a warning. It has to do with uh, some characters in the attribute table, uh, like accents that are uh, giving some uh, issues, but it doesn't affect the data, just uh, the text in the attributes. You can solve that if you use languages with a lot of accents by uh, using another encoding instead of UTF-8. Okay, there it is. We can also open it in uh, QGIS. And there we see the roads dataset appearing. And indeed, it's a very big file. And when I hover my mouse over it, it will say which projection it has. Now I would like to convert also raster formats and for conversions I use one of the raster programs which is GDAL Translate to convert raster data between different formats. So I'm going to convert the DEM from the GeoTIFF format to the Saga format. Saga is a GIS uh, which is also having a GDAL supported format. Um, so I'm going to use GDAL Translate, it's with an underscore. And I specify the output format that I want with OF, and that is Saga. You can find these formats also here on the site under raster drivers. And you need to use these uh, short names. And here you find Saga, and you can find a description about uh, the format and how to use it. So our input is the DEM in the correct projection, the one we just made. And I'm just going to save it to dmrd.s. That is the extension of the Saga format. And here it's done. You can again check it in QGIS. It should be exactly the same as the other file. Oh, there it is. It goes on top, so it covers our roads now. But uh, it looks okay as dot file in the Dutch projection. For some formats, you need some uh, more arguments. In uh, the rest of the course, we will also use PC raster. PC raster needs a specification of the data type, if it's Boolean, nominal, scalar, etc. So let's also convert the same data to PC raster format to see the difference. So we use GDAL translate, and the output format is PC raster. Let's uh, see, here's PC raster, and we see here these different formats, and it uses a value scale, and it has a certain um, 
data type that we need to define. So our DEM is floating point. So we use minus OT float 32 with float 64 that is for a lot of decimals but here float 32 would be okay and we need to use the options for this format with mo and because it's scalar in pc raster we use vs scalar in quotes and then the input file you just use the tiff you can also use the s dot and then we write it to dm rd.map which is the pc raster format and there we go and also pc raster is a gdof format which you can read in qgis and we need to choose the raster one and simply drag it we need to indicate the transformation and there it is So this is PC Raster. PC Raster doesn't have a projection, therefore we see the brackets here. We can set the projection. In this way. There it is. So we can also convert vector formats, therefore we use OGR to OGR. And that's what we are going to do here. And we're going to create a Google KML file that can be opened in Google Earth. So to specify the format, we use minus F. And then we have KML as the format. If you want to see there uh, the formats, we go to vector drivers. And there you find KML, Keyhole Markup Language. So that's what we use. And then remember, we first put the output file. Let's call it gem.kml. And then the input file, that's the shape file. I press enter. It gives some warnings, but uh, it still works. And uh, now I can open that file in Google Earth, simply double clicking it. And there it is, all the municipalities of the Netherlands in the KML format. Besides conversions, we can also do spatial queries of vector data. And we want to create a map of one municipality, the municipality of Delft. So we are going to do the following analysis with GDAL. We're going to select the community of Delft from the community map and save it into a new shapefile. And then we're going to intersect the community boundaries of Delft with the road map of the Netherlands, so we only have the roads in Delft. So we can use a spatial query to select the feature from the vector map. And we need to know which attribute is there for the names of the municipality. So I'm going to use ODR info on the municipality map. And there's this feature GM NAM, which is the name of the municipality. So I can execute also OGR to OGR for doing these spatial queries. The format that I want to use as an output as the shapefile. And then I'm going to do the query with where. Gm nam equals and then I want the municipality with the name Delft. The output will be Delft.shape and the input is the municipality layer. And then I execute it. And there it is. And then um, let's open it in QGIS. Here's Delft. And it's over there. So that works. Let's check. It has the correct projection. So uh, that's all correct. We have the boundary. Now the next step is that we want to get the roads out of it. And to do that, we also use OGR to OGR. Uh, 
And let's check the result. There we have the roads in Delft. The next step is that we want to convert the comma separated files that we have here. So there's a CSV file and we want to turn that also into a shape file, but also reproject it. So let's see what is in this file. And we see it has latitude, longitude coordinates and different objects. IDs and it's separated with a comma. So I'm going to make a, a file, a little XML file that is needed to uh, tell GDAL what kind of uh, information is in this file and I call this locations.vrt. And then I have to be very pre precise. Use three spaces. LDR VRT layer name equals locations. That's the name of the layer. And then the layer has a source file locations dot csv that's where the source data is we specify the geometry type which is a point file and we use their wkb point and it has a projection we recognize the latitude longitude coordinates so we define the layer srs and that's epsg 4326 which is for latitude longitude and then we need to indicate where the coordinates are stored in the comma separated values file. And there we use geometry field encoding equals point from columns. So this indicates that the points are in the column coordinates where the x coordinates come from the long column and the y coordinate comes from the lat column. Let me close this and we close the layer and we close the data source. That's it, and with Ctrl Z we save the file. So it's there. And then we can uh, convert it with OGR to OGR. And we want to convert this to the Dutch projection. Let's convert the CSV to another CSV where we can read the coordinates. And let's call it locations reprojected.csv. And as an input, we give our VRT file. That's the XML file that we created, a virtual file. And we want to, that the coordinates are added to the CSV file that we create. So geometry S, X, Y. There we go, that's pretty fast. And then it should be somewhere here locations reprojected.csv so let's have a look at it and here we see that it has the x and y values added it looks like there's a little bug because the coordinates look uh, swapped and there we have the latitude and longitude coordinates we can also make a shape file so we do ogr it's basically the same command but then the output format should be S3 shapefile and then let's call this locations.shp and we don't need that. There we go and then we can open it in 
QGIS. So I can drag the file to the canvas, the shapefile, and there I see uh, these points of interest. I can also convert it to the Google KML format, as we did before. And uh, then I can open it in Google Earth and visualize it. And these are some uh, points of interest in Delft, like also uh, the building of IHC Delft Institute for Water Education and the church, the different churches. The last thing that we're going to do is uh, a batch conversion. So here we have a whole set of Idrisi files. These are a raster outputs from a model in Idrisi format. And I would like to convert all of them to GeoTIFF. There will be a lot of work to do that one by one. So we're going to use the g.translate command, but then in batch. So I'm going to make another file, a batch file. I call it rst to tiff dot bat so it's a batch file and there I'm going to make a loop for each file that's what this means in and then the pattern that we are looking for rst so for each file which complies to the extension rst do Then I want to see the file name. And if I use nf in this way, I can uh, show the part that is before the uh, extension, before the dot. So it will show that on the screen. And I want to do gdal translate output format geotiff. Then, as an input, the file name of the input, the Idrisi file. And as an output, I want the part before the dot. And then I add dot .tiff to it. And that makes the command. And then a bracket to close this loop. And then Ctrl Z to save the file. And then I can run it, rst to TIFF. Give some errors, but it worked. And we have here all the TIFF files. The errors have to do with uh, the projection. So we can uh, visualize this also in uh, QGIS. And there it is.